Hi Aries and welcome to your weekly reading. I hope you guys are doing fantastic. Let's go ahead and see what's happening for you Aries. Okay, spirit, angels, and guides, show us a message here for Aries. First house of the zodiac. Okay, show us a weekly message, general for Aries. Three of coin, you're working something out. Um, people are invested, you're invested, other people are invested. My first thought here is you're not wasting your time. Something is important that you're working towards. Oh, the thing is, the challenge is being impulsive, doing things that are inspiring, last minute, fire. That's the challenge. Being very, um, doing something immediately without thinking it through, you know, as opposed to being committed to a team, investing your time and money into something and other people are doing the same. The bottom of, of the root of the issue is happiness, optimism, positive energy, very, very happy, very, very, you know, it's material growth, it's joy, many blessings. Okay. We have here something required patience, tempered emotions, Sagittarius energy. You had to go with the flow. So there may have been a test of your patience here. Seven of Cups. You have choices or options. Confusion due to choices. Like having many, many choices. Future energy is stability. Oh, wow. Because you're very determined. Um, you're very determined to move forward. Now, some of you I'm already feeling could be going on vacation. Um, chariot is you're like you're determined to go forward you could be driving somewhere but it really is the energy of being determined what's around Aries okay the king of cups Pisces cancer Scorpio Someone with water in their chart. It could be a father or a father figure, a healer. Um, this is a person who is a mature, a mature individual. They could be taking action on how they feel. You want the hangman or you're afraid of the hangman. Being in a situation that you'll have no control over, feeling like you're stuck or having to surrender or sacrifice. You're going to you could also be waiting and having epiphanies as you're waiting. Well, the outcome, this could be some kind of soul connection you have with someone. Um you are queen of water, so you have a perfect match here. Okay. King of water, queen of water. There is a 3 of cups here. Um, there is a celebration, good times, happiness, fun. Why are you the chariot? Why is Aries in the chariot? Okay, four of swords. There may be someone you're not speaking to right now. Um, it could be someone that you just choose not to talk to. And it could be someone's not talking to you. Wow. Okay, we show here an Eight of Cups, like you may have walked away from someone or gave space or distance towards someone. Put space. Um, okay. Bottom of the deck, it's the same energy I got in the daily. Fighting for something, defending yourself, standing up, fighting back, being brave, being very courageous. There might be a person around you that you feel is avoiding telling you something. Six of air, seven of air. It's like they're trying to go around 
rather than um, be direct. So you're very determined to just push something forward. And the future is a Four of Wands. It is the result of ambition. So the result of ambition is success and stability and happiness. Maybe even being able to take some time off or something along those lines. So what is Seven of Cups? Neptune energy. Sometimes that can be daydreaming. Um, fan, you know, having a fantasy or illusion. Oh, Emperor. Okay. Power. Genuine authority or owning your power. The Emperor is Aries in an energy of um, personal power authority um okay so we have aries energy and we have pisces or actually scorpio you may have some choices in love or some choice that you have to make i'm here the star energy which is healing and letting go releasing having hope for your future what's the outcome here Okay, what's the outcome with the star? There could also be something you're want, wanting to give some thought. Oh, there could be some information you're receiving, Queen of Pentacles. This is fate or it changes something. There's a change and information comes in, Queen of Pentacles, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. It could be something to do with money. Okay. Why is there a four of wands here? Why is stability here? Okay. This is good. You're managing a couple of things at once. We have here a queen of wands and the two of coin. You're keeping everything in perfect balance. You may be multitasking, keeping things in perfect balance. You could be weighing your options if somebody is giving you a choice. So the root of the issue is the sun. Something comes to light. It is illuminated. It is positive. It's happy. What is the sun? Oh, the sun is the fool. So there is some kind of new beginning, fresh start, carefree energy. And the outcome is hope for the future healing. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. What is the uh, star card here? Aquarian. Ooh, you may be dealing with an Aquarius. Or a Gemini. We have the lovers and the king of swords. Somebody is very serious. Their communication is very serious. They're being very direct and honest. They're reaching out to you. Maybe it's a final decision being made. Why are you chariot? Okay, eight of rods. Something happens very quickly all at once. What is the king of water here? Okay, what is this king of water? Oh, okay. We have someone coming towards you with an offer of love or emotions feelings and what we have here generosity giving gifts um okay so somebody is coming towards you giving you something of value this could be something you've been waiting for three of wands is on the bottom ten of wands look at all this fire all this passion all this energy that you're putting into something and then you're waiting for a result magician in the world you're trying to make something great happen you're not really understanding here the moon and the four of cups like why is there a lack or um why does someone act like they don't care the moon high priestess fire strength the devil 
There's something where you want nothing to do with a person here who you may consider negative in some way or negative people because we have three of cups and nine of swords. There might be some negative people or just... Yeah, because then it's followed by a four of swords. It's like, I don't want to talk to these people. It's a five of swords. Somebody is very, very negative. You're putting up with it. All right. Let's see what... Let's use the kipper. And see what we get here for you. Okay, show us Aries. Your outcome is intuition, release, hope, letting go, king of swords, and lovers. On your mind is emperor and choices. The future here is managing or multitasking, um, being confident in yourself, and very determined to go ahead. Somebody does come towards you with a, a message of love or appreciation. So show us here, Aries. What do they need to see? There's a message of concern. And then there is a journey. So you could be traveling. You could be um, receiving a message from someone who's concerned. A mature woman, okay. The lovers. Reconciliation. Oh my goodness, and we have the great fortune. And a main female. Show us any other messages here for Aries. Thief. Okay. Beware of a thief. There could be someone who's being dishonest. Um, it's not really showing up in the cards, the thief, but um, there could be someone who is confusing you on purpose. Making Because the challenge is having to do something last minute without thinking. Two of Rods. And it makes you feel confused. This person actually wants to give you something. They want to give you something of value. False person. Change. Okay. The, something's affecting a marriage. Show us what else here for Aries. Someone could be in bad health around you. Uh, An unexpected income. Okay, so this is a nice... It's a nice... You know, it could be something that you're needing. Bottom of the deck is a gift. There could be some money coming towards you. All right. Okay, so let's see what we get here for you, Aries. Show us Aries... Oh my goodness gracious, look at this. The milk and honey flipped. So there's something here about great wealth, financial success. Um, the land of milk and honey means you're getting a major blessing. All of your needs will be met. Hmm. Okay. Well, that's a really nice card for you, Aries, for the week. I will talk to you soon. Bye for now.